Welcome back to the channel. I'm renaming the channel actually. My nickname's Moy when I was growing up a boy, so uh, that's the name of my business, one of my businesses. So uh, I'm going to call the uh, channel Mo Moy Adventure or Moy Adventures. I've not decided yet, but I'm going to change it when I get back after this uh, little adventure today. We're off up there, I can see it from here already. We're off to the early monument today. I was sitting in my house there, it was absolutely pouring the rain and it sort of cleared up. It's, there's a wee break in the weather and I thought, let's go! Early monument, there's loads of monuments around Angus. Lots of places to visit where I live. It's so rural and there's just so much history and different battles and monuments. So I thought, let's go, early monument. So let's uh, rename the channel and uh, a wee walk up uh, early monument and I'll uh, show you all the views when we get, well I'll show you some of the views walking up but the views from up there are absolutely spectacular I wish I could uh, show you the views right just now I need to um, invest in another uh, camera holder I suppose that faces outwardly or off the adjust that but that seems like a total pain and I've got to adjust it so it's in but then I need to get, I need to get one in the centre so I can put my phone there so you can see all the views when I'm travelling because the countryside where I live, it's absolutely breathtaking especially coming at this time of the year when it's autumn so I'll need to uh, invest in another one I'll sit in here on my dashboard, put my camera there and when I'm travelling I can just like take some video, some footage which uh, I'll show you the, uh, just the glorious, beautiful uh, countryside that which I'm fortunate and very grateful to live in and be part of in everyday life. So we're off to the uh, early monument today. So if you've not subscribed to the channel so far please do, it's just a fledgling channel, I've called it a few names, I'm just finding my feet, I'm always chopping and changing but I just like going around, the whole essence of it is, is it's, oh, it's, it's growing into like, as I say, more adventures now just jump in the car and away I go. I've been actually looking at a bit of car camping now. Like I've been sussed out the seats down today, checking it out, how we can go about it. I've watched a few videos on YouTube. I'm thinking, I can do that. Why can't I do that? Why not? Saves going to the pub, that's what I tend to do. Come a weekend, go to the pub. I want to stop doing that. I want to get more out and about. Start like enjoying nature for what it is, especially where I live. It's just, there's an abundance here. It's absolutely beautiful. So, if you've not subscribed to the channel already, please do. Please help my little fledgling channel and let's make it grow. So I'll just uh, be back with you momentarily. There we go, that was quite simple actually. I was thinking I'd have to invest in another camera holder, but I just sussed it there. Just stopped the car and turned around. So uh, for a little while, just enjoy the countryside where I live. It's just like I'm just a couple of miles outside of where I live. Even from my window, it's all countryside. Welcome to Scotland, Angus. I live in Forfar, and this is Angus where I live. And we're so fortunate here. It's absolutely beautiful. I've turned the radio down because obviously I don't want any copyright strikes. I mean, look at that sky. Oh, absolutely beautiful. It's been pouring the rain this afternoon. Really heavy. Down here's Cordicky Castle. I can see it right in front of me. I'm not too sure if you can see it on the camera, but you'll see it when we get there. And up in the hill up there, there's the early monument on that hill up there on your left. If 
you can see that sticking up, protruding up, and over there, right down there is Corticky Castle. I can see it, I'm not too sure if you can see it on the camera. Be careful here. just down here is a little village Glen Clover, Glen Prozen this is the gateway to the glens this is the start of the glens in Scotland right here, this is them all here as you can see them right here the start of the glens people from all over the world come here and then further up to the highlands oh my god it's so messy, the tractors have been on the roads Potato harvest, or as we say here, tatty harvest, that's what's going on. And we always pick them by hand, just over there, look. getting all the potatoes in. Oops. So everything's still quite green just now, but it'll be turning very soon. And the colours just go all different colours and brown, different hues, absolutely beautiful. So I'll just need to take the camera out and go walking and show you all the colours. Younger, we used to we used to walk out here or get a lift if you could. There's a there's a there's a river here. Just Cork he's just coming up and you take the left up the river there's a pool. So obviously in the summer we used to go there a lot. Swimming, jumping in the pool. Friday tea time. Look at the traffic here. A few of you were to watch this in London or something, you must be totally jealous of this. Oh, but oh, look here, we have lights though. Rush hour. Rush hour in Angus. Not oh, here we are, the lights. Can you believe it? Look at this traffic jam. Be here for hours. Let's flash it. Oh, look at that, just flashed it once and it's changed. <laughs> Didn't have to wait long there at all, did we? That was some traffic jam, that.
Lucky Castle just up there on the right. Obviously you can't see it because my camera's pointed straight on. But up there on the left is where we are headed. Early Monument. Oh, it's turning into a beautiful night. I'm so lucky. And there's Corky on the right hand side there. And then Corky. Stick it up there, the monument, right up there. This is a tiny little village called Dyke Head. Believe it or not, on the right here used to be a hotel, and this, it, it's like everything else. Yesteryear, it was absolutely mobbed. Everybody used to come here, there used to be dances here, it was so busy. My mum and dad used to come with all their friends all the time. I don't think there's anything left. I think it's completely like been raised to the ground now. I remember passing it years ago and there was a big fire. They'd knocked it. I'm sure they've knocked it down. Yeah, plan and permission approved for so it's been knocked down. Yeah, the hotel's completely gone. So we will go up this way. Here we go, up here. There's the monument up there. You can just see it through these trees now. Got to be slow for nine miles. Some, look, see the monument just popping up the top of the trees there. Oh, couldn't have picked a better night. Changed now because the Forest Commission is taking down all the trees. This road's rough. It is rough. But here we go. That's what we want. That's what we want. So here we are at the base, the start of the walk up to the early crescent and check that. Check that scenery. There we go. Oh, it's very dark. Why is that? That's better. I don't know why it does that. Let me tell me why that goes so dark in the comments. I'd be grateful. It does that a lot. So I have to restart it to get it. Check that out though. Absolutely breathtaking. This is where I live. So fortunate. That's a great view, isn't it? start so we're in the car park so let's go we've 
information board here. Early Monument, important landmark focal point for the community of Glen Clover, Glen Frozen, Corrigan Sound area indeed, so prominent as that can be seen for many miles around, so true. It was built in the memory of my grandfather who was killed in action in the Boer War and for myself and from a family that serves to remind us of the gallant and brave soldier who was loved and admired not only by the people in the early estates but by all those who served with him throughout a distinguished military career. Whilst the monument has no practical use, it stands erect and proud and as a beacon and anchor, sheet symbolise continuity and stability in a world of uncertainty and rapid change. Long may it continue to do so, the Earl of Airlie. So this monument, so this monument, as I said, is purposely built to remember a man who gave his life up in the Boer War. Some testimony, he must have been a superb man. So we're in the uh, footpath there at the moment. Please keep to my route. Dogs must be on the lead at all times. Early estate. We're in Tullock. This is on Tullock Hill. Tullock Hill. Do you like my, my, nice, my nice green top that I've got on today? I've been looking at all my stuff. I've got loads of stuff that I just like it's in my wardrobe, so rucksacks and waterproofs and different layers. So I thought, do you know what? Let's get it all out. And as I say, start uh, building my YouTube channel. So I'll start pecking again. I'll turn the camera around so you can. Uh, See this glorious walk as it unfolds rather than my ugly face all the time. <laughs> it's so serene and quiet. Whew. Hear the jet and the birds singing. Definitely need to get fitter. It's so beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Own countryside of Angus. Do fencing going up? I don't know if I was meant to walk as far around as this, but I can see the monument. I just wanted to go and show you this countryside here. All this used to be trees, so you couldn't see this. Obviously it's all been cut away by the Forestry Commission. Absolutely stunning. I'm trying to see if you can see. Just trying to work out that hill part. And I can see the sea away in the distance. Way in the distance is the sea. I can just make it out. I'm trying to make out where the Rickon Hill is where I grew up, but I can't quite picture it. I think that's it. It's sort of in the middle. There's a village there over the other side of the hill, the Nickin Hill. Letham, that's where I grew up. Let's 
it's changing. And it's going to rain again. Oh, it's still a wee bit of running. Well, I think it's better to go through that gate, but it doesn't matter. Get onto the path here. I've no erected this new fence, so I can just pop over here. It is here. Whew. I think it's going to start raining soon. There she blows. On the top of the tower and the rampant, there's a fire pit as well. We light that up for special occasions. Ten minutes ago, beautiful late summer evening, tea time coming into evening. Hardly any clouds in the sky, it cleared. Look at it now. Let's till that up. It's going to wait a rain. I left my jacket in the car thinking, oh, I need my jacket. I've got a little one in my uh, backpack. But aye, uh, that's amazing. That just shows you how quick it changes here. Ten minutes ago, beautiful late summer's evening. Now the way to rain. Well, in Scotland, well, I'm sure plenty of other places as well. Just doesn't rain in Scotland. This all used to be trees, as you can see, all cut down by Forestry Commission. This all used to be wooded. I've climbed that there, right there, that's goat long. At the, at the top there, you can't really see it from here, but at the top there's a there's a bothy, a shelter. I think the roof's off it. You can take shelter in it, but you can't see it from here. On top of there, goat long. Look at that, absolutely stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Away in the distance there, there's an old observatory on top of that hill. Oh, I can't remember its name. Kin, kin something. I need to brush up on my history. And over that ridge, the, the highest peak, right in the distance, over that peak is Dundee. That is Dundee directly behind that, that highest point you can see. And there is where, right in the centre of the picture right now, below the crest of the hill, I mean, it looks awful flat, but it's no flat when you're there. It's Forfar, that's where I live. It's a town, oh, it's getting bigger and bigger now. So in my last video, I was up the hill the, above Forfar, which was uh, 
Balmashanar. And it's a high hill and it's got a great panorama to it. But when you see it from here, it doesn't look like anything, it just looks flat. It's deceiving. It's deceiving. And here we are, the Airway Monument. It's all new gates and fence going up, but it's not finished yet, it's just been erected now. So we don't need to open the gate. I think that would be to do with deer management on this state. Whew. Oh my god, I'm pecking. That's a bit of a steep walk there. That wind's up too. Stunning, isn't it? It's really dramatic now, it's got really dark. It looks like a huge rain cloud there, so hopefully it'll just pass us by. It's just sunny over there. You see the sun away, that, look at that cloud. It's just dying to burst and hold the rain and away across there, but it's all sunny again. I need to get myself selfish, it's like I've got one of these, what are they called? Gimbal, yeah, gimbal, but they're a bit hard to work. I need to get myself a selfie stick, a long one, so you can see more of the scenery. Oh, look at that. Stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. I don't know if you can make that detail out. So it's awfully dark. So it's so huge inscription on but it's well weather that inscription you can't read it anymore and then there's a thistle there's a go arms give me arms then there's a thistle above it huge carved thistle stone thistle that'll be like the early coat of arms Still down from storm. 
car went. All this used to be trees, so you couldn't see all this because of the trees. And then, I don't know if you can make it out, but when I start going round here, all the hills and the glens, the path network, I can see loads of paths, you can just walk, like you can just walk forever now from here, North Scotland. Oh look at that, it's absolutely beautiful, that low cloud, almost missed. But then this is basically, here's like, you know, this is a gateway to the glens, you can just walk, like, here's it just starts here, look. If I can just get through here. Uh, no. I don't want to break the leg. Do the, do the safety thing. If I was 20 years younger, I would have just skipped over that, but loads of rocks. is getting strong. So here we've climbed here. So as you can see that's lowland. And this is the start of the glades. And then here is it, further on, is the Cairn Gorm. It just, that's it, it just goes on and up. So this, that's my hand, you can see my hand. That's north. So northwest highlands. And look, here's it here. Here's like, this is basically like, this is it. Here's the gateway to the glens. This is the gateway to the glens. Kerry Muir's just below here. And it, it gets called the gateway to the glens. And this is it. There you can just start walking until your heart's content. Wild camping. It's all here for you. I'm going to start doing that now. Start venturing up here and start staying nights. Get myself kitted out with a light tent and start going for a wee stove and start just exploring my own country. It's absolutely tra it's a travesty. Yeah, it's absolute travesty. All this absolute natural beauty on my doorstep and I did a lot when I was younger but in the last 20, 30 years we more into like music and life and doing different things and getting married and having kids and that's all, my kids are older, marriage is all over now. So I think it's about time I explored all this and put it on YouTube because it's absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh, that's up here. Look at that gate out the way. The gateway to the glens. Do you see it on the background there? Absolutely stunning. All this. You know, I can see all the paths. You can just... All the paths up here. Oops. I don't know if you can make them out on this camera. But there's loads. There's a huge network of paths all on these hills. And through the glens. Absolutely stunning. So... This has been my wee walk up to, uh, my wee adventure up to uh, the Airly Monument. So again, hopefully you've enjoyed it and that's, I'm going to change the name of my uh, channel now to Moy Adventure or Moy Adventures, I'm not quite sure, but I'll make, I'll think about it on the way home in the car. And, uh, get that picture in there. And, uh, welcome to my channel. I'm going to start exploring it. Just go on different, advent different adventures around. Oh, I mean, there's Loonan Bay beaches, beaches here. There's a lot. I'm just going to start sharing it every what I get up to. Rather than go to the pub, just start going out and about, being at one with nature, just getting some fresh air. It's absolutely fantastic. It's the cleanest air in the world. So, if you'd like, to, if you've liked watching this video, please subscribe, like, and share, and please leave comments. If you'd like to see me go anywhere around Angus and a wee bit further afield, please. Please leave comments in the uh, comments box. I mean, they're greatly received. Uh, all this natural beauty on my doorstep. It's absolutely stunning. Just get out of here. Look at that. 
So, from a cell moy. In fact, I'm gonna go through this gate and then I'm gonna go up to the next gate. See while I'm here, just to, so I can just see the early monument far away up north, so to speak, and just show you more of the countryside up there. So, bear with me. Just get this gate open and we'll be on our way. That's just the gate. Yeah, we'll walk up to this next gate. It's probably about 400 metres or something. Let's show you the countryside up here. How dramatic that is! It's absolutely amazing! Fuel signal, is it? No, emergency calls only. That's funny, I thought I'd get like network three here. Look, that last. So, how much I know? Not much. Well, if you're in dramatic landscapes and countryside, there you go. Seems a bit dark though. Stunning, isn't it? That's better. That's a lot better. Increased the brightness before, it seems to keep going dark for some strange reason. That's a whole lot better. I've been on top of there. I'm sure I can just see the dike on the, on the highest peak there. I can think I can just make out the bothy. I'll hold the map. When I get back to have the map out, I've got the map in my bag. Just get the map out, start pinpointing where to go, check here and where I can go from here. So I do some wild camping. It's windy though. Really windy. Oh, the skate's broken. Leeds. Don't know anybody from Leeds. <laughs> oh, you can just see. I can see all. I can see loads of paths. It just takes it all everywhere. But you just keep following this path. You can just follow, follow, follow. It just goes for miles and miles and miles. I don't know if you can tell on top of the hills there. There is just dozens of paths. Never stop. 
the swell could be a while longer. Probably start going down now. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah, there you go, absolutely stunning. That just gives you an idea of where I live. Angus and all its beauty. So there you go. Thanks very much for watching if you're still watching. I know I said I was finishing the uh, video earlier on but I just wanted to walk further on just to show you and you can just keep walking and walking and walking. It's just like just, I don't know, how <laughs> I need to totally research it. There's so much to walk. You can just spend the rest of your life walking around Scotland. There's that many paths, there's that much to see. It's absolutely stunning. The, the beauty, you actually forget the, the beauty of it when you're here. You live your life in your town and your kids and your family and your deck. I mean, I work as a decorator and I'm decorating kids. And you actually forget this is all on your doorstep. It's, a, it's actually neglectful, actually. It's, it's a crime. And uh, maybe not so much of a crime, but it's like, it's pretty rude not to be exposed in the country. And then what do you do? Come a Saturday, you go to the pub. It's a bit of a bad habit to get into actually, but that's what we do, I'm a truthful person. But anyway, here I am, back out and about, sharing my little adventure with people around the world. Check that out, absolutely stunning. It's really windy, it's not cold, it's really windy, the wind's picked right up. But it's absolutely beautiful in the air, it's as crisp and clear as it could ever be. It's absolutely stunning, I just can't take my eyes off it to be fair. So. Again, I know I was finishing earlier on saying like, you know, but if you have enjoyed this video, uh, like it, share it, subscribe, that would be great. It just like helps you grow the channel and a bit of feedback. Uh, leave comments. It's nice to like, you know, leave some comments if you want me to like do other stuff around Angus or visit somewhere you can't go yourself. Quite happy to go and take away some video footage and post it on YouTube. So as I say, it's absolutely beautiful for you. I'm very fortunate, I'm very grateful, and I'm very lucky. I'm breathing, I live in a beautiful place. So, from myself, Moy, from Moy Adventures, or Moy Adventure, take care. Until the next video, I'll see you. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers. Ciao. It's not about that easy. Just I'm walking back here to the monument. Like, check this out. The sun comes out. <laughs> It's absolutely amazing. It just totally changes the complexion of the countryside. It's absolutely beautiful. It's so bright. Look at that. Look at that sky. How stunning is that? Look at that. Absolutely great, isn't it? There's nothing, nothing else for it. Right, I'm definitely aware this time. Take care till the next time, see ya. <laughs> One last thing. Look at that rain, can you see that? Look at that. Look at that rain, absolutely pouring down there. It's moving, it's moving east towards Forfar. You can't get rid of it that quick, but I just, there's so many things to show you. It's how it changes so quick. But you can actually see the rain, look at it, it's absolutely lashing. Amazing. Right, I'm definitely going this time. <laughs> Bye. Ha <laughs> ha.